Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Sure, solar produces zero emissions electricity. But what about all the emissions from the manufacturing of solar modules? In recent years, a lot more attention is being paid to so-called embodied emissions. These come from the materials and manufacturing of things such as buildings, cars, and yes, even solar modules. Sure, my name is David Van Esch, president at Skyfire Energy. Uh, Skyfire designs, builds solar electric systems, battery storage systems, electric vehicle charging stations for residential, commercial, and utility scale clients. Skyfire Energy is an Alberta-based solar company, and they've just announced their goal is to sell zero emissions solar. We're uh, a business like any other where we have emissions in our in our own business with respect to electricity we consume for our buildings, natural gas we use to heat our buildings, our our uh, um, our you know emissions from from commuting for our staff for for our own vehicles and house so um, and then the technology we're, <clears throat> we're we're deploying solar PV there's embedded emissions in that as well so uh, the manufacturing the mining of the materials um, for the systems we're building um, you know there is a there is a footprint to that and and this latest program our our zero carbon solar uh, program recognizes that. Skyfire has run the numbers to figure out how to account for all of the emissions in the life cycle of a solar project. That for the average solar PV system, the mining, manufacturing, the upstream emissions, including the construction, represents about a, a ton per, per kilowatt of solar uh, in, installed, a ton of CO2 per, per kilowatt of solar installed. So then we worked with Radical to find uh, projects where we can purchase carbon offsets um, where we're basically buying ownership of carbon offsets from, from other projects. So Skyfire Energy worked with Radical, another Alberta company, to source carbon offsets from new renewable energy projects. There is a, you know, a lot of sort of greenwashing in that space. And, and for us, we, we really took our time so to, to make sure we could find a trusted partner where we could buy offsets that we um, that we knew weren't being sold twice, that we could have confidence in, that we were actually driving uh, additional, um, you know, efforts to reduce emissions internationally. It stems from um, initially, you know, the Edmonton Corporate Climate Leaders Program, where we joined that in 2018. We started tracking our emissions that year, and we set goals. Um, you know, we set a we set a very ambitious goal for, to be net zero emissions by 2030, along with uh, hundreds of other B Corps internationally. And then we set an interim goal for 2025 to electrify a quarter of our fleet um, to be net zero on our own electricity consumption at all of our locations. And this last piece to, to be to have zero carbon solar as a core product. So to deliver solar PV systems to the doorstep for residential clients uh, with zero embedded emissions. And Skyfire is doing more to reduce their operational emissions as well. We have a zero emissions commuting incentive. Um, of course, with COVID, we now have very flexible work policies as well that, that has really benefited and reduced our, our carbon emissions from our staff commuting. Um, and then we're electrifying our fleet. So we have um, Chevy Bolts on the road for, for site assessments. We, uh, we're putting a Ford e-transit on the road right now in Calgary um, for, for construction. So we have very ambitious goals to reduce our emissions from, from, from our commuting of our staff as well as our, our own vehicles. We're really excited to launch our zero carbon solar program. Um, we're really hoping it, it it encourages other businesses, other solar businesses, even to to start looking at this, start tracking their emissions, um, and start offsetting emissions from from their own, uh, you know, from the manufacturing of these projects. And and uh, so yeah, we're we're hoping we can encourage others to to follow in our footsteps here. Of all the ways of generating electricity, solar and wind power already have the lowest embodied emissions by far, so zero emissions solar sets a pretty high bar. Researchers and policymakers are now looking at the carbon embodied in buildings, transportation and industry to find ways of further reducing emissions. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.